This week on Sweet Ruka, we discuss the check-in procedures as we enter a new country after an exhilarating passage. I'm Kate, this is Curtis, and Roxy the dog. This is our tiny home, Sweet Ruka. We left everything to sail around the world without going through the canal. You heard me right, Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. Click subscribe and come along for the ride. Previously, we sailed between two tropical storms from St. Croix USVI to the beautiful country of Grenada. It was our plan to head to the Azores and then eventually down to Cape Horn of South America. But with everything closed, we had three choices. Stay put in the USVI and run into potential hurricanes, return to the United States, or head to Grenada, a relatively safe zone during hurricane season. We chose Grenada with hopes that Chile might open up so we could make our way further south towards our goal. All of the check-in procedures were laid out for us on the Marine Yachting Association of Grenada website. We could email asking for permission to enter the country and choose from a series of predetermined dates of when we'd like to arrive. Once the dates were approved, you had a three-day window to arrive, which was more than enough time if weather routing didn't go exactly to plan. Everything we wanted to know was included on their website or in an email, so we knew what to do when we arrived. There were two approved bays, with anchorages set aside specifically for quarantine. One in Kariku, a smaller island to the north of mainland Grenada, and St. George's Bay, the primary bay full of bustling city and a beautiful carinage. The bay was jam-packed full of boats that had gathered in the southern West Indies nation to escape for hurricane season. And it was one of the few nations allowing people in, making Grenada a popular spot for yachts from all over. Roxy, you excited for land? Some gates never get to open cause it's too late. I could be the one who saved you from Hey, we are in Grenada at St. George's. Kate is tying on the Q flag. Looks like she's got it up there. Alright. Alright, and now we are headed into the marina here where it looks like we need to check in and try and figure this out. I don't know if we're gonna be allowed off or not, you know? I'd have your mask ready. So there's a few extra red buoys. That's red, right? And those are faded red? I'm gonna go around the extra red. Cause that looks shallow there, doesn't it? This says go around three reds, but I don't trust it. After hoisting the yellow quarantine flag, we wove our way through the red buoys protecting us from a sandy shoal in the bay to the quarantine dock where we had our temperatures taken and confirmed our arrival. We were to head back out to the required quarantine anchorage and drop anchor for the next 10 to 14 days. And it's pretty windy today. We have a weird direction, so hopefully all this docking goes well. Some gates never get to open cause it's too late. I could be We were fortunate enough to be well provisioned, which included working SIM cards so that we could keep in touch with people back home and upload Sweet Ruka videos. But not everyone is so fortunate, and so Grenada organized the delivery of SIM cards, groceries, propane, water, fuel, and boat parts. If you needed it, they would find a way to get it to you. You could set up the order online and communicate via the radio when you were coming to pick it up from the quarantine dock. It was truly a beautiful and well-functioning system. We did not require any services, and thus quarantine was quite quiet for us, despite the pretty full anchorage. We had loads of plans to accomplish many boat projects and video editing, but we found ourselves taking advantage of the required time to ourselves. It started off with us contemplating quarantine for the big ships. Don't da, 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 da. you see the name of it? Tropic Jewel. Tropic Jewel. What are we carrying, Tropic Jewel? He was out there while we were sailing. Nice. 
Finally. I love it says, no smoking, safety first. Really big, like so big I can see it from here. Let's say you, Roxy. Hmm? should also have to sit in quarantine, if you ask me. But he was out there sailing. I, re I recognize him from AIS. I, mean, I wonder how many weeks at sea he was. You know what I mean? Maybe he was weeks at sea. Or maybe he's only a week at sea. Not or maybe they aren't allowed off the ship. Just the containers. That may be. Well, everybody, we're just sitting here in quarantine. It is... Is it day one? Today, oh. is, day, is today day one or day two? Well, we got here yesterday about 1 o'clock in the afternoon and checked in, so today's either day one or yesterday's day one. We'll find out when we get an email when quarantine's over. Watching the giant ships come in the harbor right next to us, we anchored right by the entrance of the harbor after about an hour of trying to get the anchor to set in the terrible holding here in St. George. But it's pretty set. Um, I think it's stuck on a couple rocks, which is not great, but it's about all we could do. and. Seems to be holding pretty good for now, so winds are back out of the east, so it's not quite as rolly as it was yesterday when it was bumping and rolling from uh, the south edge around there. Wind was coming out of there, waves and swell just all up in here. You can see some waves. Didn't matter anyway because slept like a, what's the expression? Slept like, slept like a baby. There we go. Do babies sleep that well? Anyways, enjoy the, uh, Tropic Jewel going by here. Poor Roxy wants to go to shore so bad. I know, buddy. It's okay. You can do it. Well, that's it for day... Day two? We'll call it day two. That's it for day two of quarantine for now. And we'll catch up with you guys later. Getting a good rain here on day two of quarantine. And I had opened the hatch, but as you can see, it rained right in the boat. So we'll just have to look through the screens for now. You can see kind of the rainy haze, giving the boat a much needed wash. All the salt on all the stanchions, on the solar panels. We sprayed it down with some water from our tanks, but now it's getting a thorough boat wash here. Still got our canvas to put up. Spinnaker's still out. We're actually taking a cat nap away from the rain. Ah, and this is a good time to have fans. When it's raining, there's no air conditioning and all the windows are closed. Ah. Well, everybody, it is officially day four of quarantine if we include the day we arrived. So I said yesterday was day two, but it was day three. And today we're counting it as day four. So anyways, happened to wake up early and trying to watch the sunrise, but, uh, there's Grenada and a bunch of clouds, so maybe we'll see it, maybe we won't, but uh, take a look. So just hanging out this morning, hopefully finally get some energy back, do some boat projects, work on another video for you guys, hopefully, and just enjoying time in quarantine. Roxy's taking a snooze. <laughs> Staying positive, counting our blessings, and I'm gonna make it the best August of 2020 that we can. <laughs> found ourselves finally sitting back to relax and thus did not accomplish very many boat projects. We found plenty of interesting ways to entertain ourselves though, including entertaining Roxy. Okay. That's what I got. You want some? Okay. 
Okay. Okay, get it. Good. We created lots of interesting ways to entertain ourselves and found ourselves being goofballs on more than one occasion. I eventually broke out the guitar and tried to practice a bit. I did lots of yoga and we did lots of eating and hanging out with Roxy. Even though Roxy was keen to interrupt my yoga sessions, it was a pretty nice quarantine and before we knew it, we got the email to head in and get our COVID test. Hey everyone, it is early on Friday, August 6th here in Grenada. Pardon my uh, wake up with no makeup face and my bed head, but we had to get up pretty early because we have COVID-19 testing early today. We've been in quarantine for 10 days and today is our last day. We received a notification email yesterday that said we can come in and get our COVID-19 test done, which is going to be a finger prick and a little blood draw. We do that at, I think, 7.45 this morning. So we are excited to be done with quarantine. So having a little bit of coffee on the uh, on the aft deck here and going to get ready to go in. So just like at home, you've got to get your car out of the garage and drive in. But our car is a little eight foot uh, inflatable with a testy motor. So let's hope we make it to work today or to our COVID test. Well, 10 days in quarantine haven't been too bad, really. Looks like I need a little bit of an eyebrow trim and a haircut. But really, quarantine hasn't been too terribly bad. We're excited to go see if we can show you some of the COVID tests here in St. George's. See how this goes. We had received notice that 54 people would be tested on the day the medical staff arrived for our wave of quarantine boats. They decided to split us into two groups alphabetically by boat name, telling us exactly which time to come in and wait in line. We were glad they split it up as the testing went quickly for what we thought was going to be a finger prick, but was actually a blood draw from the arm. Curtis was just happy he didn't get the brain tickling PCR test as he's had sinus issues in the past. When it was my turn to go, I couldn't watch as I do have a hard time with needles, but it was over before we knew it and it was back to the dinghy to await our results we would receive later that day. Thank you. Nice. Have a good day. Thank you. Good job, babe. Hey. <laughs> She's good, huh? Only the best the... here in Grenada. <laughs> Check me out. Okay. Kurt's happy he didn't have to get jabbed in the brain. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we got our arms done and we are ready to wait for our results and then hopefully we are negative and then we can go roam around town. All right, back to the boat. I'm in the V-Birth right now because we are running the water maker and it's making a lot of noise. So I'm going to do some recording in the V-Birth for the quiet. So we waited until later the afternoon to get the email with our negative results that we could head into shore and check ourselves in and check our vessel in. And as soon as we got the email, we heard everyone starting up their dinghies and hopping in. It was a race to get into shore because we were all going to be waiting in a long line in the hot sun to check into customs. So Curtis had been wanting to buy a new dinghy engine since for a long time, since we were on the East Coast. And we were just waiting until we were in the right spot and the right place to get it. But then COVID happened and it never happened. So we were stuck with our five horsepower and had to slowly watch everyone zoom by us. And it kind of stunk. We were definitely the second to last ones in line. And it was really hot and we maybe got a little bit of sunburn. But... We got all checked in and it was time to go pick Roxy up and take her into a much needed trip to shore. Wind in our sails. Roxy, are you excited to go to shore for the first time in two weeks? 
Here we go, buddy. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. We are dreamers of the shore. Roxy's first steps on land. What are you gonna do, buddy? Take a pee. <laughs> Seven years now on this boat and we all know where we belong. Just wait. It had been a long and hot, exciting day, but we were ready for this unplanned pit stop in our goals of making it around the world. Stay tuned to find out what happens next.